Action. Welcome. Wait, whoa, whoa, social distancing, social distancing. Decontamination and all that. Now that Gary has decontaminated the work surface, tonight we will be examining NCI's final summary project amid the 2020 COVID pandemic. <laughs> Excuse me. In particular, we will be discussing what our project is about, connections to BC's digital literacy framework, the use of digital storytelling, our individual contributions to our projects, and what each of us have learned from each other throughout this course. To begin, our master's project will be examining how inquiry, co-teaching, and cross-curricular activities can be used to increase learner motiv motivation and learner experiences in Social Studies 10. In particular, our learners will be examining the process of truth and reconciliation and its significance through inquiry, the use of various digital technologies, and carpentry skills, which will ultimately culminate in the creation of a wooden wall art decoration that will leave a lasting learning legacy for our school community. Social distancing. In addition to the project uh, which the students will be undergoing, we want to document our journey by creating an online resource, a website, which we can put all of the information as well as these the film footages uh, that we've taken. Uh, furthermore, we hope to make this website an open educational resource so that other teachers, not only in the district, but perhaps around the world, can look at what we've done with inquiry-based experiential learning in a cross-curricular model, as well as what we've done with Truth and Reconciliation and hopefully take some of that information and incorporate it into their own teaching. Our project demonstrates the following course outlines that connect and integrate with BC's digital literacy framework. Extra large gloves, Gary. Come on, all right. The following is the digital literacy framework and a breakdown of how our project will meet these um, digital literacies. So the first digital literacy to talk about is research and information literacy. So what our learners are gonna do are they're gonna complete an inquiry project on truth and reconciliation using various res uh, research sources, so webs and articles. Um, upon completion of that inquiry, Learners will create a hand-drawn motif on paper via knowledge from Inquiry Project and then translate that into Adobe software and then finally into Aspire. And learners will then transfer their files via memory stick to the carpenter shop to upload the G-code to the computer numerically controlled router or the CNC where that will be printed. The second literacy, critical thinking, problem solving, and decision making. Learners will have a defined workspace in which to print their reflective motif. They will have to measure and design the section of the feather both in the carpentry shop and in Inspire. So, Aspire. So it's not going to be like, oh, here's a block, here's a big square, make it. They're going to have to actually learn the tools to make it conform to roughly what they're going to be printing on so they can actually have it look good. Third, creativity and innovation. So this project is rife with creativity and innovation. Um, learners will have to respect, uh, respect and attain permission to use the indigenous symbology and learners will have a design around, have to design, sorry, around an artifact if used to make sure that the representation of the symbol is used correctly. So there's a lot of ways in which they can be creative and innovative and there's a lot of ways that it meets those three criteria and this is just the start. Fourth <clears throat> digital literacy framework we were looking at is digital, digital citizenship. So learners are going to have to use digital images 
as part of their project. So they're going to have to learn a little bit about Creative Commons and how that works, as well as either creating their own images, which they license under Creative Commons, or using Creative Commons images. Uh, the fourth digital framework is communication and collaboration. So learners are going to create, uh, using digital media, a community project that's permanent that will show their growth and understanding of truth and reconciliation that's going to hang on the wall. Uh, they will then also have to troubleshoot both digital and technical issues that arise throughout the projects, and they'll have to evaluate the proper tools, both digital and physical, to create their vision. And the final digital framework they're going to be looking at is technology operations and concepts. So they're going to have to look and learn collaboratively and collectively while working in a unified manner to use and using the prescribed tools. They're also going to have to work around any malfunctions that the software has and adapt by using you know, similar and different softwares. And finally, they're going to have to you know, use the base functions of computer literacy from one program to another. And that concludes the correlation to the BC Digital Literacy Framework. To demonstrate how digital storytelling can be used to contextualize and represent technology integration in a project, we created both a storyboard and a mini documentary. Our storyboard highlights important aspects of a documentary, whereas our documentary itself digitally tells the story behind the significance of learning about truth and reconciliation processes and what our guest speakers hope our learners will experience from this process. Get out. I'm sorry, but I'm not calling Skip the Dishes to order your lunches. Why not? Clearly, my teammates are messing with my notes. I want a burger! Alright. So, how did each person contribute to this project? So, the projects all around what we've done during this semester or this class. So we all worked together on every facet of the project. Deirdre and Gary worked extensively in the scripting aspects of it and the voiceover aspects of it with the recordings and all that stuff. And I did the proofing of these and incorporated the voice, voice files into the program. Gary uh, recorded, the great, recorded a great deal of the audio for the film with Deirdre and I helped a little bit as well, when, especially when Gary was the one talking. Um, Deirdre took the majority of the still photos which documented the various parts of this process. Um, I did a majority of the filming in both the storyboard and the documentary with help from Gary and Deirdre. And we all worked really hard to edit the storyboards and the documentaries, which was probably combined about 40 hours. Um, over and over and over again. I know, so what I did is I did a majority of the editing when these guys had the tough job of watching it over and over and over again to find mistakes. So we all worked together to help seal it up. So probably seven or eight iterations of that documentary came out before we actually got it to where we wanted it. And all the Google slide work was done by Deirdre with help from Gary and I, but let's be honest, that was mostly Deirdre, okay? Bye. Lastly, we will be examining what we learned from one another to complete this course. From Andrew, I learned about editing and filming and the specific tools and platform, platforms with which he enjoys to work with. From Gary, I learned about specific recording techniques, script writing, and web design. Got you covered, Gary. Does anybody else have a really wet butt? Because <laughs> it's happened. Uh, what have I learned? Uh, I have learned from the master of slideshow creation, Deirdre, how to create not only amazing slides, but all of the graphing and information that goes into those to make them look fantastic. Uh, from Andrew, I mean, he's the master of AV in our school, so I have learned, you know, video recording, editing, you know, how to use the fancy lavalier microphones, 
and all of that jazz and ultimately working together as a group. I mean, we've had a lot of fun and I think we've learned every aspect of making a documentary together, which has been wonderful, wonderful. I learned nothing from these guys. Nothing. Like really, nothing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what I did learn from these guys was Deirdre's slideshow creation on uh, Google on Google Slides was incredible. Like the in how detailed it was blew me away. Way more than I had ever thought of doing on it. So I learned a lot from what can be actually jammed into one slide and actually still look good. Um, from Gary, I, I learned an interesting way of scripting. I've never seen scripting done that way where everything is in literally one huge paragraph. But it worked. And it worked really, really well. So a lot less cuts, a lot less edits to do to it. Really flowed quite well. And what I learned from my teammates is we all have our strengths. Right? And as a group, we have it almost all covered. We all have our individual strengths and we all use those strengths to help move the project forward. So I learned a lot. Ha! Nice! Holy crap is it wet! You guys aren't even kidding! Do you want me to see if you're in there? I'm in there. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Thanks, Marina! Thanks, Marina.